Alright, so here's a shorter version of my a shorter version of my previous tutorial if you just want to use a standalone Melon DS. So I've got the installation file here for Melon DS or just just the emulator. Uh, I got my, my DS games or DSiWare games and blank NAND files and firmware here. So I'm just gonna put all of these inside of the Melon DS folder. and also a copy of the NAND file. Start up LDS, go to config, go to config and EMU setting. Set to DSi experimental, uncheck boot game directly. Under the DSi mode tab, set the four files here. And that's it. So I'm doing it just to test it out. So yeah, here's the blank DSi file with no games installed. So import games, just go to manage DSi titles and import your games. Check a uh, download from NUS that'll um, download the title image for the game. And this is why I didn't really want to do the entire library, because you have to import the games one at a time like this, unfortunately. You can't just do them in all in bulk. And you also have to keep an eye on how much you're putting on this, on this NAND file. So, that's it. Now they're both installed. So if you put two, you can put multiple games on, obviously. But uh, if you put too many on, the either Melon DS will not, most likely, will not let you create the NAND files, or or the game will not start up here. Like when you go to boot firmware, it will just do nothing instead. I've also had that happen because I had one bad ROM file, so I had to go through the list to figure out which one was causing it and remove that game. So, now I can take this NAND file, rename it to whatever you want. And I'm going to make a, get a new copy of this one here. Since I used the same name, I didn't have to pick the file again. And I got the blank file. So, again, manage and import the other games. And there we go. So now I named this file too. To switch games backs, basically you just start up Melon DS here. Go to EMU settings again, and just choose which name, which game pack you want to load. Same thing for the other file. Now, if you want to report it into RetroArch or LaunchBox, you can check my other video, which is a bit more, a bit long, more long-winded, but it goes into more detail about how to do that. All of your games are installed on these NAND files, so at this point you can just delete this game's folder or do whatever with it, whatever. You 
And another thing is the DSi file, 9 files will always be the same size, no matter what is on them. So if you're having a large amount of games, it's going to take up this uh, 245 kilobyte, 1000 kilobytes here is going to add up real quick.